all my beautiful jewels and gems. I feel like I have so much to share with you guys about what has been going on with me for the past month. Uh, and I've tried to make this video a few times, but it's definitely the most difficult video that I've ever made. And I'm trying to give a lot of information in a short amount of time, and that is proving <laughs> to be very difficult. Um, because there's so much but what I decided is I'm going to do a little bit today and then I'm going to do more as in the coming weeks kind of letting you guys know what's been going on with me and continuing to let you guys know I guess postpartum of a miscarriage which is definitely no fun um, but it happens it happens a lot there's every for every three women there's one woman who will lose her baby and so we lost our baby about a month ago and um, I wanted to let you all know who have been following my pregnancy journey and I also wanted to, to put this out for other women that are dealing with this because our society really makes this topic very taboo. Uh, many times we're told as women, don't tell anybody you're pregnant until you know you're at least two or three months and the reason for that is because of such this you know the likelihood of losing the baby but I feel like that's detrimental because you make the woman or the man that she's with that is the father of the baby uh, feel like you know it's not okay to talk about the pain that goes along with it and I just feel like that is just so incredibly um, terrible like it's just it's horrible like I understand some people don't like to share and I mean a lot of us don't like to share we just don't like to talk about icky bad stuff but it's happening and if you don't talk about it I feel like it just makes it worse so I mean I've even had people tell me oh you should wait and I knew when I started to share my story with you guys a month ago a little bit over a month ago that this could happen I knew that this could happen I was very fully aware I wasn't really clear on how it happens and why it happens but I did know that it did happen but you know what I walked out on faith and I said you know I don't care what other people say I'm gonna do this because I believe in this I believe in God and I know that you know he's gonna be there with me through it no matter what uh, I prayed a prayer around the time that I found that I was pregnant and I just asked God to protect me and to protect the baby and I wasn't expecting that this was the way that he was gonna do that but it is and you know I am not mad at him for that because you never know why these things happen because really honestly and truly you know his way of protecting me and the baby was this and I don't understand why you know I don't know why it was but I know that there's so many things that can go wrong with a pregnancy uh, for me and for the baby so I just had to accept um, what it what happened, and um, you go through this mourning process, and one of those stages of mourning is acceptance. And I mean, it doesn't make it easier, I guess that that's the reality. But what it, what how I have been dealing with it is knowing that it's God's will, and I had absolutely no control over what happened. So I feel like for other women and other men out there that are dealing with this horrible, horrible experience, um, you can find comfort in knowing that it was God's will and he knows better than we do. And so that's how I've been dealing with this thing emotionally. And I've also had the support of my husband and my parents and my siblings and my aunties and uncles and friends and you know grandparents and everybody else around me and I feel that I am so lucky to have that Whew. because you know a lot of women that get pregnant and lose the baby don't have that and just the other things like I'm just so thankful that the little comforts that I could have like clean water and other things that I use to kind of give myself comfort and get through this you know I was able to get it without a problem um, whereas I know other women in other countries or, or in other times even in the past couldn't have those little comfort things and 
any little comfort that you can get during experiencing a miscarriage is 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 amazing it, you you appreciate it so much and um this is a really serious thing I mean, some people even want to go towards committing suicide and i think the reason is because of the pain that you deal with and i mean i know that there's no reason that you should take your life for anything um and not this because i mean there is there is still hope you know um but it's that painful it really really is and even for a person like me who i consider myself to be strong in the lord um it's still difficult it's very very difficult but that spiritual connection relationship that i have with god um really has helped me through this so i just want to start off with that that's my emotional piece um i'll talk more about that maybe later on and and more videos on you know overcoming a miscarriage like i said it's been a month for me I'm still healing, both physically and emotionally. Uh, today, I'm just gonna try to briefly share what happened and why it happened, and then further on, um, you know, in the coming weeks, I will continue to do Friday videos where I post, you know, about my pregnancy journey, and this is part of it, and it, it wasn't what I was expecting to be posting, but this is real life, this is what happens, and um, it's time to stop making people feel uncomfortable about feeling bad or feeling sad or expressing how much love and excitement they have for their unborn child. Like, I just, it, it 